<laughs> Brace yourselves. What's wrong, Houston? Nothing. I just think it's funny how the scientific community doesn't give me any respect for all the crazy experiments I've done on this channel. It's ridiculous. I don't know, man. Our experiments are a little out there. They're not exactly based in science. Not based in science. <sighs> Maybe if we came up with something a little more serious and a little more sciencey. Yeah, maybe you're right. I just gotta think of something really good, really thought provoking. Something like, you know, Edison's light bulb. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I think I got it, Garrett. What? How about this? I'll get elbowed right there! A hundred times in the same spot! No, that, no. Yeah, this will work, dude. This will work. I'll get a lot of respect from this. Bro Labs, of course, is a series where I take my title of World's Strongest Bodybuilder and throw it out! And instead, I become a scientist to try to answer the questions that nobody asked. In our most viewed experiment to date, I got punched 100 times in the same spot. And I started thinking to myself, there has to be a strike that can cause more damage than a punch. Which is why we have decided today, instead of getting punched, I will get elbowed 100 times in the same spot to see if it can cause more damage than the good old punch, AKA the knuckle sandwich. So here's the plan. I'm gonna get elbowed 100 times here in this left leg. Immediately after, we will inspect the damage, see what happened to the leg. And then two days later, we will check the bruising to see if it's worse than the 100 punches. So since it's such a privilege to have the first strike onto my leg with one of the elbows, we're gonna make a little bit of a competition between my lab assistants here. It's whoever can smash both of their Melons here first get the first elbow onto my leg. All right, fellas, elbows only. First one to smash them both wins. Ready, set, go! Oh, wait, wait, winner, winner, winner! Woo! Woo! <laughs> You're lucky. I was getting melon on my head. Listen, the technique was all wrong, fellas. You gotta do one of these numbers. Ah! <laughs> Now before I start getting hit, here's Houston tip number one. Before you get your leg pulverized, it's always a good idea to foam roll it out a little bit, you know? You get it, uh, the blood flowing in there, and it's gonna really, really help the process. Uh, oh, mama. The time is nigh. Brian won the competition, so he gets to elbow first. I wanna do three at a time, because that seems like a good, good number. Okay, that's too many. That's too many. Well, three is too many. Who's, who decided on three? Uh, Houston tip number 25. Let's stretch the quad out. I mean, even if you're not getting hit, it's a good all-around tip. Just stretch that quad out. Thanks for this opportunity. Okay. What's the number? What are we, what are we at? Six. <laughs> Oh, but the good news is there's only 94 more to go. <laughs> oh, actually, that is good news. Wow. That really got me back up. Ready? Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> what if we just do zero at a time? Ah. Ooh. E. Houston tip number 37. Leg swings. All right. Doesn't really help, but look at that flexibility, huh? That's pretty good. Hoo ha! Ho! Okay. Yep. All right. Are you ready? No. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe I'm ready. Maybe I'm not. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay. All right. Yep. Yep. Hoo! Oh! 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 Do you need to run it out? Houston tip. 
Number 52, jog it out. Ow! <laughs> Who put that there? <laughs> that chair? <laughs> yeah. This is your deck. <laughs> okay. Oh no. No. Oh. 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 <laughs> you ever think maybe this is why the scientific community doesn't respect me? Ah! You did a bad. <laughs> <laughs> We'll count that as three and a half. Oh, okay, all right, yep. Yep, that did something. Oh, 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 oh wow, we gotta do another half. Oh, oh, okay, wait one second. All right, go. Oh! That was full beans. What kind of beans was it? Uh, Bush's baked beans or? <laughs> refried, Carbon. refried beans. Carbonzo. <laughs> Carbonzo beans, my favorite. All right, Weston. Come here, come here, Garrett. Stick your hand on this leg. Tell me what you feel. That's warm. Hey, why did you stroke it? <laughs> <laughs> you wanted me to feel it. I just wanted you to feel the heat, but not to get the rub down. I get. I had to get a feel for it. <laughs> You're done touching my leg. <laughs> this is the deal. I'm gonna tie my shoe. At the same time. You can elbow my leg. Yeah. Oh, you missed again! <laughs> you almost headbutted you. <laughs> Ow! Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> shoe didn't even get tied. <laughs> Shoes are overrated. <laughs> See, the trick is Houston tip number 63. Tie your shoes when your feet aren't in them. <laughs> Makes it way easier. Oh, 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 oh. Take a knee. You got a T-bow? Nope, this is a, uh, wow, that really fucking hurt stance. <laughs> you know what to do. Oh, yep. Okay, that was exactly it, man. You, you nailed it, man. We're either fighting or fucking. Either way, I ain't walking straight tomorrow. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. You're slapping the balls. <laughs> All right. I felt something a little extra in there. I'm yeah, just... it looked like you yeah. definitely elbowed him in the balls, dude. Left uh, testy. <laughs> no, how about we just start grilling for the rest of this video, huh? Oh my god. Okay. All right. You know what? Sorry. Sorry. I, that was my fault. I'll take the blame on that one. Okay. Yep. Garrett, help me. <laughs> help me, Garrett. This is uncomfortable. <laughs> You're uncomfortable! My my leg! We fucking had Hey guys, what you're about to hear is a very strange ominous buzzing sound for the next 40 seconds or so. Now I have come to the personal belief that this sound was due to the immense scientific energy radiating off my leg and was most certainly not because we forgot to check to see if our microphone was fully plugged in. Because that would be stupid. Perhaps going to be three full bean strikes from which I will not fall over. The power of science will empower me. And then when they see the power of science empowering me, everyone has to like the video. Okay. Oh. All right. I, didn't I thought fall. he was gonna break that fall. glass. I didn't fall. All right. Two more strikes and everyone owes me a like. <laughs> oh. Oh. <Nope. laughs> okay. All right. Oh. Yep. You know what? You know what to do. What did I tell them to do? Like the video. Sure. Weston's gonna bring us to an even sixty, and then after that. They're gonna start doing five in a row instead of three. Oh. oh okay, all right, yep. No, okay, that, that really, oh, wow. Oh my God. That last one you missed, do one more. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, one more. 
Yeah, he's dead. Brian, just for good measure, five more. <laughs> <laughs> we measured it so good, dude. That was such good measure. <laughs> Wow, what an experiment, you know? I think uh, we uh, furthered the bounds of science today. We all learned a lot. And I think humanity is better for what was done here today. But also, here's the damage. Um, as you can see, uh, I'm already bruised somehow immediately after. And I don't know what the deal is, it was just red. More bruising over here. My whole leg is swollen, hot, it's steamy, really steamy. Creamy? It hasn't creamed yet, but uh, I might cream on it later, you know what I mean? It's been two days later, and we're checking in on my leg to see how it looks. Brace yourselves. <laughs> oh, 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 crap, I forgot I creamed on my leg this morning. Now that I got that cream cleaned up, let's get back to the damage report here. As you can see, there's some slight bruising to the inside of my leg, a little bit to the outside, but look at this overall leg here. Look how swollen it is, okay? I can't, it's like hard. I can't, I can't flex my leg. I can't do a lot of things with this leg. I am legitimately partially crippled. Let me show you. Quad stretch test. For reference, here's my other leg. Okay, my good one, see how easy that was? Now check out my damaged leg. Okay. Ah! Help me, help me, Garrett. Oh, 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 oh. I can't stand up. This is the going down the stairs test. Here we go. I gotta go one at a time. It doesn't work otherwise. Believe it or not, my dart throwing skills have gotten even better. So my conclusion for this groundbreaking experiment is that while the elbows did not bruise my leg nearly as bad, they definitely hurt way worse and my leg is pretty much useless now. It is in way more pain afterwards than it was after the 100 punches. So we obviously learned a lot in this video and if I had to give you guys my end all be all conclusion, it would be this. Don't get elbowed 100 times in the same spot. Oh, yeah, so needless to say, I think after this experiment, I'll get all the respect I deserve from the scientific community and just people in general. Uh, if you think I deserve all that respect, make sure you slap a big old like on this video. Every like is a like for respect, but most importantly, respect for me and my science, because it's important. Also, comment down below what you want to see next on Bro Labs. And last but not least, subscribe! Subscribe for respectable science, because that's what I'm doing. Yeah.